In this video, I show you my best GPT for creating consistent characters. It's incredibly user-friendly, doesn't require specific prompts, and guides you through the process. I'll walk you through what to expect, show examples, and discuss the quality of images in the four styles. Plus, I will tell you which style produced the best results. Let's dive in. To begin, it prompts you to click here to start creating character designs. It first asks if the character is male or female. Let's choose female. Next, it prompts for a name. I entered Sarah. Then, it requests details like age, country, hairstyle, outfit, and other character traits. I typed 10-year-old girl with big brown eyes, curly brown hair, wearing a yellow dress, kind-hearted, curious personality. The more detailed the description, the closer it gets to your imagined character. Now, select a style from four options. Pixar animation, photography, 2D flat illustration, or anime pastel. Let's go with Pixar animation. Later in the video, I'll show results of the other three styles using the same description of Sarah. After the style selection, it generated the character. It actually incorporated all the details from my description, the brown curly hair, big brown eyes, and yellow dress. Next, it offers options to vary the character's expression, action, or pose. I chose all. Then, it asked what variation you'd like to see in the next image. I entered Sarah running to school with a purple backpack on a beautiful sunny day. The result was a remarkably consistent character. Here are a few more variations I requested. Sarah is reading a book on her bed with the moon shining through the window. Sarah is shopping on a large grocery store, looking happy while holding a chocolate. Sarah is feeling sad. The vase is broken. Keep in mind that this is my initial attempt and I have showcased every step of the process. I'm really pleased with the results. I was also curious to see how the GPT would perform with the other styles. Let's explore those results. Using the same prompts but changing the style, I selected option 2, photography. Here is what it generated for Sarah. Scenes of her going to school on a sunny day, reading a book and shopping in a grocery store while holding a chocolate. Now, let's delve into the third style, 2D flat illustration. While it didn't quite match the consistency of the other two styles, it still produced interesting results. Some images showed slight differences in hair and the overall feel varied slightly. Finally, we have style number four, anime pastel. These results were surprisingly close and consistent with our character, Sarah. After trying all four styles, I can say that Pixar animation and anime pastel are the best. My personal favorite is Pixar animation. I highly recommend giving this GBT a try. It consistently generates impressive character designs and is incredibly user-friendly. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.